Hi everyone, it's computational thinking time. I'm Eleanor and I'm going to produce a series of videos explaining about what is computational thinking and how we can run it in Malaysia. If you are a parent watching this video, you can use it together with your children or if you are a teacher, you can integrate it in the classroom. Before we explain what is computational thinking, let's ponder and ask why computational thinking. A lot of people say computational thinking is just another problem solving skills. We already have higher order thinking or we have other problem solving methods like mathematic thinking or engineering thinking and now we promote another thinking skills called computational thinking. Why and so many thinking skills, how are we going to manage? Before we talk about how we're going to manage different types of thinking skills, let's see why computational thinking. The, the major reason is the world is about technology now. Technology is everywhere. Either it is being used to produce flying car or screenless display or as tiny as our contact lens needs technologies. So if technologies is everywhere, imagine one day the world is about virtual reality. It's about all this holographic television or we don't even need to be present physically at a place to have meeting. What are the problem may comes up and how are we going to solve it? So let's imagine 10 years from now, accountant may be replaced by a very powerful spreadsheet that can automate the account of a company. Accountant may be jobless or engineer may be jobless due to automations. And what will be the job like in 10 years time? Think back our time when we were still in Form 4 or Form 5. We may be thinking, okay, I want to be a doctor, so I take up biology. But now with the advancement of technology, what kind of job we can take up 10 years from now? How about being be a doctor? We have been hearing machine can do analysis on x-ray better than doctor. How about a lawyer? We have been hearing our apps can even do the consultation job and replace lawyer. So what can we ask our children or students to study 10 years from now and what kind of job they can take up, right? So the first scenario that happened in Malaysia, let's see this diagram. 18th century teacher talk and students copy. And now the scenario in our Malaysia schools may still be the same. We are still feeding our students with knowledge. But will our students wait for teacher to feed them with knowledge? I bump into many kids that they can Google a lot of resources from internet. So what are we going to teach our children again? Okay, second scenario, the job skills of our local employee drops. The report shows that employers say our graduates lack of critical thinking and communication skills. So here, the combination of the advancement of technology thinking skills 
And because we cannot just feed our children with knowledge, we have to mold them to be a thinker. That's why we talk about computational thinking here. That's all for now. Stay tuned to our next video. And at the meantime, do contact us if you have any questions.